thanks all for coming along. Um, welcome. Um, my name's Cat T. Um, I'm going to be running through a um, basic presentation on MPSI community development and enrichment. Uh, so I'm just going to go through a couple of bits. Um, so I'm going to talk to you today about concepts of MPSI, its origins, its uh, basically uh, challenges and the state of MPSI in 2022. Um, later on, I'm going to touch base uh, on the development of the Funink um, MPSI calendar, uh, Community Gateway, which basically we founded sort of last year. Um, to round off the presentation, um, I'm going to uh, basically talk to you about the future of MPSI and how you guys can help uh, MPSI communities basically um, in their activities. Um, it's probably going to be about 40 minutes, uh, there or thereabouts. Um, obviously, you can hear I'm struggling with my voice slightly. Um, and obviously, by all means, you can heckle me uh, all you like. Um, might get a few obscure references in about Clico and a few other bits and bobs, uh, and clearly some recruitment plugs as well. So you're going to have a chance to do a Q&A uh, at the end also. So uh, if you've got any questions, just hang on to them, uh, put them in the mind. Um, so OK, um, so kick off, uh, first part of the pr presentation. I'm going to introduce myself. Um, so my name's Kyakti. Um, pronounced Key Yak Tea. Uh, I've been called various other things in the past, um, but just don't call me late, late for dinner. Um, basically, I started playing Eve in 2004. Um, I got into Eve actually by my girlfriend. Um, she's, um, she's actually my wife now, um, so it can't have impacted her too much. Um, so I kind of did the usual things, um, you know, mining, ratting, missioning, and sort of around, um, I think it was about 2005, um, I got talking to a chap at work. Um, and he basically suggested that I do a PVP, uni, uh, PVP University basic class. Uh, it's actually run by Agony Unleashed. Um, massive shout out to Agony Unleashed. Um, sounded brilliant. And basically, s since then, I've been pretty much hooked on PVP. Um, so I ended up joining Agony. Um, eventually, uh, they closed their doors back in 2018. Um, and I then basically, I was kind of reluctant to kind of stop Eve. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, made some awesome friends in the process. Um, so I basically I decided to set up my own corp, uh, which is obviously Fun Inc. Um, even better with friends. Um, so in game, I'm obviously the C CEO of Fun Inc. and I'm one of the principal sort of FCs. And I just generally tinker with stuff as well. Um, now, we're a player, player corporation in our own right, uh, but we're also, like I said, we're the home of the community calendar. Uh, in my spare time in game, I'm also the alliance lead of uh, the Ancients, uh, which is basically an NPSI, pure NPSI alliance, basically. So um, in my real life, I'm a tea drinking, Guinness drinking, local government worker based just outside of London. Um, I love internet spaceships, spreadsheets, KPIs, feedback forms. You guys know this. Uh, and trying to give a little bit back to the community that I actually I adore, basically. Um, outside of... Um, Outside of spaceships, uh, I love Metallica. A lot of people know that. Um, I've seen them like 45 times now or something like that, so it's a bit mental, really. Uh, a bit crazy. Um, play the guitar more recently, sort of do woodworking and stuff like that. So some of you that are on uh, like Twitch or whatnot or watch streams, um, I also um, Twitch, uh, sort of stream on Twitch. Um, so yeah, so just before I sort of move on, massive shout out to my missus for actually like putting up with my incessant Eve ramblings. Um, she actually doesn't play anymore, but um, she kind of gets the game. Uh, so it kind of makes life quite cool. Um, so you know a little bit about me now. Um, I can see a couple of skeptics. <laughs> Who is this guy? Uh, so I just want to know about p PVP. Um, so before we kind of kick off, um, basically just some terms and conditions um, sort of before I move on. So I suck at Eve, basically. Um, although I've played Eve for a long time, um, and although I like FC, um, I'm actually incredibly average at Eve. Um, now, what I mean by that is I'm, I'm an average solo PvP, I'm an average small gang PvP, and I'm an okay-ish FC. Now, I'm just average across the board, basically. Um, it's not a bad thing. Um, but one thing I do kind of pride myself on um, is sort of FCing wise, um, I'm not the worst FC, um, but I <laughs> really <laughs> first tackle, good job. <laughs> what <laughs> what I lack of in ability or skill, I try to make up in fun per hour uh, and passion in what I do. Um, I've got sort of 17, 18 years nearly um, of PP, PVP experience, um, and I still learn something every day, basically. And that, uh, Eve is incredibly good at that, and you, you, you know this. 
Now, OK, so you've got some context about me. Now I'm just going to move on to the juicy bits, basically. What is MPSI? So shout out what you think MPSI is. Or not. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Asha. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, not purple, shoot it. Um, basically, um, it's fleeting up with the mentality of if you're, um, basically, if you're not with me, you're against me. So what, what that, broadly speaking, that means, um, anybody that's in your fleet, who by default will be purple, um, on your overview, uh, is your friend. Um, so anything else is a valid target. And we go out and kill them. Basically, in its rawest sense, um, arguably, and this is obviously my perspective, um, alongside sort of factional warfare and sort of recent proving grounds events, um, in 2022, I believe NPSI is probably one of the most accessible forms of PvP to anybody in EVE. Um, from, from a new bro right way through to a bit of vet, somebody that you know, could be in game for a month, uh, or somebody that c could be in game for a year, you know, like 10 years, 12 years, 15 years, what have you. Um, so it allows you access to PvP on tap. You log in, you join a channel, you X up, you join a fleet, and you sh basically shoot ships, shoot ships, and you log off. I mean, basically, you, you get to meet new people, you get to meet, make new connections and friends, you get to recruit people, learn new tactics, learn new wacky things, and basically having fun in the process and probably di dying whilst you're doing it. Um, you get to try out new ships, new doctrines. Basically, you develop your, uh, you utilize and develop your growing skill set to the best of your ability. And all whilst making pretty explosions. So to me, I'm hooked, basically. Now, broadly speaking, um, I've kind of spoke about what MPSI is, but where did this magnificent beast come from? And I'm talking about MPSI, not me. Um, so, <laughs> dep <laughs> so depend on sort of who you speak to, um, you'll get a variety of um, sort of stories. Um, people like staking their claim to it and about the origins of NPSI. Now, you'll hear, you know, RVB, Bombers Bar, Split to Fleet, Varian Hay. <laughs> and everybody will stake their claim to it. But, you know, people do stake their claim to it, basically. Now, I actually firmly, firmly believe um, the concept of NPSI was founded way before these groups um, existed and before the, the moniker NPSI was actually even created. So. Shout out if you recognize that logo. Yep. Okay, good. There's a few old gits here like me. Uh, so this, this corp alone, um, I believe it's where MPSI started. Um, now, Agony Unleashed, as I mentioned, um, they, they, they were founded in 2006 um, by a small group of players that basically, they wanted to teach people. And they did, st they did so through their PvP basic course uh, and the university. Um, so a couple of people recognize Agony. Who here actually took an Agony basic class? Right, so one, two, three. I know these guys did. They were, Agony did it. Um, so it's half a dozen. So, you know, decent, decent percentage. Now, we actually had um, nearly 10,000 graduates um, of the PVP basic class. Um, and it was sort of off these classes that the basic concept of MPSI was actually born. Um, but Agony fleeted up with random people, gave them the basic skills um, to start PvP. And they just went and killed things. Uh, basically, fortnightly basic classes and their roams. Now, so in, in effect, what Agony actually did for Eve was set up a, an ideal, um, a concept, sort of like a way of life for some people now. Um, that basically, um, we didn't have Discord back, you know, in all those years ago. Um, we didn't have Slack or whatever. And so, we basically X'd up in a channel, you jumped into a naked pod, you, uh, you just did no strings attached PvP. You didn't need to join a corporation, you didn't need to be in an alliance, you didn't, you could just be a solo pilot. Um, basically, you just needed to be in a channel, um, in the right place and at the right time. Um, so basically, that was, N that MPSI was born there. Now, from there, what happened was basically, um, it snowballed. Um, I'm terrible with dates, uh, but the general consensus is as follows. Um, RVB, um, and through RVB, ganked, obviously, uh, ran from 2011, I think it was, there or thereabouts. Uh, it, it remains the biggest uh, and largest repeating uh, public roam in EVE. Um, obviously, it's with Spectre Fleet now. Um, after, after that, um, after departing Agnon Unleashed, um, Greygal, um, 
set up Redemption Road and basically took out uh, her new bow roams. Um, obviously, it's been mentioned about the new bow roams being a huge um, method for new players to um, you know, get orientated in EVE. Um, an absolute must for new bow pilots. They still, they still run them now. Um, so from there, Bombers Bar, uh, decloaked and created a bit of havoc. And then more recently, obviously, Spectre Fleet. That's a s symbol that people will recognize straight away, probably, especially that man there. <laughs> um, obviously, they're now flying the uh, ganged flag, um, nearly in its 11th year, I think, next week, there or thereabouts. Basically, um, ganked 550 is next week, uh, Stormbringers, uh, basically, Viren's um, giving free ships, basically. They're not free, I know, are they? <laughs> Close enough. Um, and more recently, um, Fun Inc. Um, basically, uh, I set up the court mirroring a lot of these ideals um, to basically accessible, visible, and fun PvP. Now, from my perspective, um, the growth in NPSI has been huge uh, recently. Um, many, many groups have come and gone over the years, basically. Um, outside of Spectre Fleet, you've got these awesome groups. Um, just shout out if you recognize any of these groups. Um, I know all of them. There you go. <laughs> so Friday Yar, Kaz, uh, Combat Guild, Perpetrators, Free Range Chickens, Flaming Dragons, on a bit of a hiatus at the moment, Eve Linknet, Fart, uh, Fart Fleet, uh, Schlag, uh, one of the streamers, uh, Reveka, and Stay Feral, and Overclockers. So you've got a huge amount of content, basically. I love that logo. <laughs> And now all these groups, uh, one, one thing they have in common is basically f uh, PvP on demand. Uh, it's across multiple time zones with the basic concept of fleeting up with mates and killing stuff. Um, just get on board. Um, basically, it's an amazing thing um, when you actually s sort of strip down the, to the absolute basics of um, what, you're, what we're doing. Um, fleet movement is sort of controlled by an FC that you don't know or they might be unknown to you. Um, you've got scouts that you might not know. You don't necessarily recognize their voices. They might be new scouts, so on and so forth. Um, you don't know your Logi pilots, but collectively, um, the Magnificent Beast um, manages to function and kill things. Uh, and we actually kill a hell of a lot of stuff. Um, and one thing, sort of straight, uh, straight away I'd like to say, is that MPSI allows for inclusion um, of everybody um, from the very earliest stages of a character's life. I know Kashal, new bro, one day old, I think. Yeah, we've we've had new bros in our in our rooms literally, um, less same day, and we welcome these people with open arms. Um, and it's the same for all the all the uh, different groups. On average, people are sort of you know can be one or three months, one to three months old. But this is this is what what is key about MPSI is there is no barrier to entrance. We don't take ESIs. We don't do interviews, there's no blood tests, urine samples, there's no BS. And that's what is critical. Uh, it's just inclusion of people, embracing their potential, and showing off a game that we all love. We all love Eve, at, at the end of the day. You wouldn't have flown halfway across the world if you didn't love Eve. Now, MPSI has basically afforded uh, people PvP content on demand. It's inclusive, it's accessible, it's visible, and it's no strings attached PvP. Basically, you get some dang frags there. And in, in sort of recent years, we've seen huge growth in MPSI. Um, some of the large groups, we have content 24-7, basically. Um, so why? So we touched on MPSI, um, its origins, chat briefly about, uh, about those and some of the history of, sort of MPSI. I'm going to give you some context as to why people do this. Um, so let's go and have a look. I think, if you just have a quick look at that, that you probably have all seen it in all fairness. Um, now, there's not going to be a person that hasn't seen this image in, in, in all truth. Um, it's from Control Alt Delete, um, it's a magazine uh, webcomic. Um, it sums up why people um, do MPSI and why they'd rather not join a corporation or alliance. Um, I believe. That is the MPSI dudes there. Uh, basically, um, they don't want fuss. They don't want, and they just want content. And they don't want barriers to accessibility. They just want to shoot things with lasers. That's basically it. Um, so I kind of thought, thought, thought to myself, what better way of answering the why MPSI than ask the community themselves um, what motivates them to log in? Um, why, and, and why would they join an MPSI fleet? So this is what they said.
IFC and PSI fleets because it's pure PvP with no strings attached. There's no timers, diplo, or politics. I can come up with whatever doctrines I like and go wherever I want. It's just my fleet and whoever we can find to shoot. MPSI is the pure spirit of EVE. Like-minded people from different backgrounds setting aside their different tickers can band together with the singular goal of throwing with spaceships. After years of living in Nolsec, I realized that I'm too time poor to maintain that level of commitment, but I still wanted to be able to have fights with no pressure or hassle, and also I like being able to fly stuff that doesn't necessarily bankrupt my character. Hi, I'm Varian. For me, MPSI is all about the explosions. Just having a good time blowing up ships with your buddies and fleet. Hey, my name is Rainrow. I chose MPSI because there's content almost every hour of every day, a variety of doctrines, and no worries about blues, solve or timers. Doing quality PvP and often trying, you know, new ship and fleets in complete fleet without all that goes with being in an active core. Hey, I'm Skopik from Fun Inc. For me, NPSI is all about the people, the community. No boring duties or commitments. I can just do what I like most, whenever I want. I play NPSI because it means I can go anywhere and shoot anything with no restrictions from a or an alliance. Why I fly NPSI? I would say variety and freedom. You can choose the type of fleet you want to join. Nullsec Pirates, Stealth Bomber Fleet, CSS Robbing, Nullsec Roaming, PvE Fleets, Wormhole Diving, just to name a few. You're also not limited to any certain type of content or doctrineship. There's no obligations, no alarm o'clock CTA fleets, no need to get pep links, no mandatory structure bashing, etc. You can just go and join a fleet whenever you feel like it. So I hope you, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, now, as you've sort of heard some of the testimonials, um, here's a few more from um, regulars and court members. Um, there's actually, um, I had quite a, quite a few number of the replies, um, basically proper lol answers. Uh, I'll just say that out loud. Um, some also um, brutally honest uh, about their own sort of personal circumstances. Uh, and how gaming is is actually a source of sanctuary for them um, and their kind of real life kind of problems. Um, so you get a kind of flavour. Uh, overall, a lot of the feedback was centred around um, sort of enabling the freedom uh, to do what you want, and uh, basically to do it when you want it and without the pressure and the commitment um, that of being in a you know block alliance or whatever, one of those big mega corps or whatever. <laughs> Now, my personal favourite, and I need to stand back for this one because I want to see it. <laughs> now, bless him, Dibbles. Uh, he, makes the <laughs> he makes the perfect assessment. Um, why would you not do MPSI? Um, people bemoan about, I mean, how many times have we heard uh, about Eve dying? Uh, or it's dead, or you know, whatever. Um, MPSI enables you to have content. So why would you not want to do it? Content is there, it's available, it's accessible, and you can get good fights. Um, so give me one, I'm, I'm not gonna say give me one good reason, because I, then somebody will actually give me a reason. So <laughs> why, why would you not choose MPSI? So that's a rhetorical question, no need to answer now. But Dibbles, I absolutely adore that guy. Um, sums up perfectly in my eyes. Now. MPSI is a super way to basically hone your, your skill set. Um, you can be a micro gang of three or, f uh, three or six. Um, could I ask that the notes get narrowed down slightly, if possible, because I can't see some of my notes. Um, but basically, you can be in a small gang of three, a uh, larger gang of, sort of six, 50, whatever. You learn MPSI, and it's a great way of learning. Um, you can be lodgy one, one fleet, you can be booshing the next, you could be bubble, bubbling on the next one after that. The possibilities are endless, and support pilots are basically always, always needed. Thank you. And we get, and exactly, and you get to die a lot as well. Um, now, in the process of learning, you're going to make new friendships in the community. <laughs> There's my notes, you can literally read it there. There you go. 
<laughs> Perfect. Yeah, if you could do that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, quick out for Nodes up front. Thanks. So basically, um, in the process of learning, you're going to make new friends. Um, and you're going to develop a, an awesome network of pilots that you basically you can rely on, um, that you can roam with. Um, the net product is that you you have a solid group of people. Um, now, a while back, um, I actually read an interview, and it actually got mentioned yesterday, um, kind of almost like it's fate or something. Um, I read an interview with CCP Ghost, and he spoke in depth about the Eve effect. Uh, and basically Eve's ability to basically create genuine friendships. Now, I'm not saying that MPSI is going to resolve like pilot retention issues or anything. Um, however, if you give people a community that they love, um, that they believe in, and that's key, where they've made true bonds, they're not going to turn their back on it. Now, how many of you sort of here um, say that you log in because of the people. Um, how many of you do that? And that's what MPSI is to me. Um, basically, if there was a formula for MPSI, that's pretty much what it would be. Now, we've, we've, we've all seen sort of similar formulas, like bizarrely enough, it's like I've almost like read their slides in advance, which I haven't. Um, I'm sure the MPSI formula would look something like that. So just to have a look, basically, people and practice multiplied by variety, you're going to get good. What this basically means, if you fly with people enough and you have sufficient variety of content and exposure to different uh, roles you know, within, uh, within a fleet, your skill set and your confidence um, and overall ability will improve over time. Um, basically, as you get good, the experience makes you feel good and it makes you log in. It makes you want to log in, rather, and you will come back for more. So, so why is this exactly? And I know there was a chap, I saw a presentation, I can't see him, I know he's here, if I can't see him now. There you are, there you are. You see the parity now? So why, why, why is this? Now, it's pr pretty well known. Um, video games release chemicals. Uh, playing video games, I should say, uh, releases chemicals in your brains. And it makes you feel great. Now, that's what makes you come back for more. So, and I, ha I, I actually kept on pronouncing dopamine wrong. So I've actually written, and I wish you could see it, I've written D-O-H per meme, like that, just so I can actually say it correctly. So dopamine uh, is basically it's produced by the brain uh, and helps you make you feel good. So when you do things that make you feel good, you know, it could be complete or succeed at a task, the brain releases dopamine. Now, it's the brain's reward for doing something good. And I'm pretty sure that's why CCP dopamine is always smiling. Now, couple dopamine with serotonin, uh, another chemical that you get when you like achieve something or satisfaction, accomplishment, that sort of thing, um, or recognition. Um, you have a fantastic mi mix of like happy hormones that make you feel great. Yeah. So basically, as you get good at something, um, you succeed, uh, and in the process, you get recognition, and your brain releases all of these chemicals. I mean, I can't really say much more than that. Now, slight, slight, slight derailment, and I'm just, I'm going to really whip through this quickly. If you take a look at Kolb's 1984 model on experience, on experience-based learning, it's four stages. Um, you can only advance to the next stage once you've completed all, all, the, all of the stages, basically. In effect, you have the experience, you reflect on the experience, and you learn from the experience, and practicing, and, and by practicing what you've learned, you you, 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 you basically improve, um, you, you, you learn. Now, Eve is identical to that. Effectively, um, in its simplest sort of term, you'd hop in a ship, you'd have a fight, you'd reflect on the fight, and you learn. You gain confidence, you gain ability. You, you then go back and you have another fight, you reflect, you learn, you gain confidence, you gain ability, and it just goes round and round. Eve is like a learning circle, basically. Now, so meet Dave. <laughs> Say hello to Dave. Thank you. Hello, Dave. <laughs> Some, somebody might get that obscure reference. <laughs> You're my wife. <wife's> <laughs> now, Dave's your average MPSI punter. 
Uh, he's, he's a bit of a cool dude. He's got a bit of swagger, as you can see. He's quite pixelated, though, unfortunately. Um, now, he's gone to a few uh, sort of MPSI fleets, um, and uh, he's, he's enjoyed them, and, uh, but he lacks confidence. Now, as you gain confidence and ability, um, you're taken out of your comfort zone. And that the comfort zone is basically what you settle for in this precise moment, the here and now, where you are now, basically. Um, and beyond, um, it's basically what you're settling for at this precise moment. Um, beyond that comfort zone is the fear zone. And people that don't step outside their comfort zone stay there, uh, they stay there because they're scared. Of, they're, you know, they've got fear, fear of failure, um, that they don't have what it takes, that um, they haven't got the right skills you know, or experience. Um, they're scared, basically. Um, so people's fears are, they're created from criticism by others. Um, it could be self like self-confidence, anxiety, you know, what have you. Now, sometimes you need to stop being scared and just go, just go out and do it. And if it doesn't work out, that's life. You might die uh, in-game, obviously. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Now, um, now th in EVE, this could be like skirmishing, it could be FCing, it could be logic, dicta, boucher, wh whatever. Now, it doesn't matter what the function is, um, it's irrelevant. The point is that you're doing something that helps you learn, it helps you grow and you develop. Um, that's what this is about in my eyes. Now, beyond the fear zone, um, this is where the magic happens. And basically, once you get out of the fear zone, you're in the learning and growth zone. This is what I actually technically call the, what the fun zone is. Um, the brain loves de l basic learning. Um, it gets addicted to progress. You've, in effect, you've activated the creative part of your brain. You're learning, you're growing, and you're developing. I think it's amazing, that zone, um, because that's what makes people log in. So we've spoken about a number of key concepts in MPSI, um, what it is, uh, its origins, and what motivates people to log in. Uh, and a bit of uh, random psychological babble in the middle, um, which I'm probably well, definitely not qualified to talk about, really, in all fairness. Uh, that, that chap is. <laughs> now, what probably 99% of you are actually here for um, is to find out how is the state of MPSI. So how active it is, um, when a fleet, and uh, what type of mites I had, and are they good? So let's have a look. Um, it's a recurring thing, like I said. Um, People are always saying that Eve's dead. Um, I fundamentally disagree. Uh, NPSI community says, contrary to this, 100%. Um, it's very, very much alive. Um, we've seen a huge resurgence um, in the number of people sort of coming along to the fleet um, during COVID, um, obviously, and actually post-COVID. Um, we're basically, we're in an instant gratification world. Um, people want to be able to flick a switch. Uh, fire up the client, um, browse for a fleet, uh, X up in his channel, and shoot spaceships. Um, PVP in different time zones, and and have uh, a variety of access to content. Basically, it's easily accessible now um, through the variety of MPSI groups. Um, you're never going to have to wait too long for content, um, and regardless as to who you fly with. Um, MPSI is about logging in for what motivates you as the player. Um, you're a customer, you're buying into a service. Now, the commodity, it's not ISK, it's time. Time is more valuable than ISK. Um, the only limitation um, is being there at the right time uh, and Xing up in a channel at the right time. Now, what? tell me what could be simpler. So, just as an example, obscure Raptor references coming up now, guys. Um, this is my signa uh, signature fleet. Uh, it's called Shrink Wrapped. It's Combat Raptors. Uh, loads of E-War, decent damage application. Um, it's, it's my go-to fleet, basically. Uh, it's fast, hit and run, death by a thousand paper cuts, coupled with E-War supremacy and grid tactics. Superior grid tactics, apparently. Uh, that's, I added that bit. 
<laughs> so 30 Raptors each doing 250 DPS at 7K a second equates to 7,500 DPS and a whole lot of fun. Trust me. Uh, say again? That's one Marauder, yeah. Don't even get me on Vargas, mate. <laughs> OP. Um, generally, we have sort of between 20 and 50 in fleet, depend on, you know, obviously numbers. Um, and we pretty much, we kill in excess of 5 billion isk a night. Uh, we've actually been known to kill 30 billion isk in one individual roam. Uh, and as of last week, um, we've actually killed, uh, destroyed 1 trillion isk, very, very nearly 1 trillion isk in this um, doctrine uh, for about 140 roams, 150 roams. Now, <laughs> the doc and I'm going to read this exact, the doctrine has the ability to destroy hostile ships at a blink of an eye. Just ask Horde, just ask Frat and Goons. Now, there are three recent roams that stick out for me. Uh, Super Saturday 1 and 2, uh, you had to be there to believe this. Um, 50 billion isk in two roams uh, we destroyed. More recently, MJ Horde relocation where we destroyed 18 billion isk in one roam. That is just under 70 billion isk in three roams. Now, <laughs> it's in Raptors. Now, <laughs> boom. <laughs> so here are some of the kills. Hopefully you can see some of those. Now, there you go. So excluding subcaps, that's two Thanatos. One Phoenix, one Nidhogger, one Orca. And that's in two rooms. Just these 12 kills equ equates to 30 billion isk. <laughs> in Raptors. I'm going to do that a lot. <laughs> now, more recently, uh, after Horde's relocation to MJ, we had a very, very, very nice wormhole. Um, Horde basically fed us for nearly five hours. Um, we actually destroyed 17.63 billion isk. Uh, we actually lost about 2 billion, 1.9. Um, we had 15 fight systems uh, and 203 kill mails in an evening. Um, it's the same doctrine, uh, 46 Raptors. Uh, that was the size of the fleet. Um, I think that was probably including the um, like support pilots. So it was probably about 35, something like that. Um, I was actually, I'll be honest with you, I was bloody exhausted after that roam. Um, I couldn't get to sleep for about two hours. Uh, I think, uh, oh, no, it does, it does, it should be. Whoosh. I think that time there, whoosh, and that time there. Uh, I'd, I couldn't sleep uh, when I went to bed, and I think I got to sleep about three o'clock in the morning. Um, I was, <laughs> again, it's another chemical. Yeah. So, again, I'm just gonna do that a few more times probably. So week in, week out, we get this amount of kills. I like admiring them. <laughs> now, we've had content literally, um, basically right from the get-go. There you go. I think that might be the last one. Now, whilst we're talking about killboards, I just want to thank a uh, massive shout out to Horde, Frat and Goons. Um, they just feed us, basically. Um, they've been awesome at letting us kill them. Um, and we definitely could not have done it without them. Uh, the kill mails prove it. Um, so it's not, it's not limited to just Fun Inc, obviously. Uh, Spets Fleet gets some amazing content, too. Uh, that, I think, I nicked from the AAR channel on Spets Fleet's Discord. Um, and it's basically, it's in their fleet debrief section. And each one of these equates to one roam or one part of a roam, or sorry, one fight within a roam. It's a mixture of low sec, null sec. Um, as you can see, I think it's about 100 billion in 12, 12 roams, I think it was. It's insane. And uh, That is, uh, aside from it being awesome, uh, it's actually the unthinkable. Um, it's the seven day Varga bingo card. Uh, it was actually nine Vargas, I believe. In three, was it 11? Okay. See, this is the thing. These guys get so much content. I, I, I had to change so many of these slides. It was quite, and I was adding them and adding them. Anyway, it was like three afternoons worth of PVP in, was it Ab Abazon? I think it was Abazon. Mostly Tama, that was it. So, Beave is dead. That says contrary. <laughs> now, in fact, around the 14th of April, um, I believe it was, um, 
This is actually um, from Zekiel. Um, four out of 10 of the top pilots on Zedkill are actually MPSI people. Oddy, Virion, Paradigm, Rain. They're basic regulars that go to the MPSI rooms. And that, that to me, if 40% of those people um, regularly attend MPSI rooms, um, that says to me that MPSI is clearly kicking ass, basically. Now, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what to say about this, to be honest. Um, you, you, see, you see things on like Reddit and you know, so on and so forth, and then you hear the one about the uh, MPSI group that killed four arcs in less than five minutes. Um, 90 billion isk in like five minutes is literally insane. Um, the content's out there, you just need to log in. Um, I, I, as I said, I actually gave up adding slides because pretty much every week something awesome was happening respectively and, and so on. Um, so it, it, a slide won't do it justice. Just get onto Discord, go along to the MPSI rooms. Likewise, Bomber's Bar. I can't really go into much more detail than that. They do what they do. They do it awesome. They don't have as many AAR reports though, like after action reports um, on their Discord. Um, I think it's probably because they're out killing stuff. Um, I, like, I like a good write-off though, as does Virion as well. <laughs> so Eve is not dead. It very, very much is alive. So I'm going to move on slightly to challenges to MPSI. Um, I've spoken at length about how awesome MPSI is and where it came from uh, and the state of MPSI. Um, in recent times, um, what have been the main challenges uh, to MPSI? Um, ironically enough, um, I say ironically, um, Basically, one of the principal issues, or not issues, challenges, is, is actually the client itself. Um, traditionally, it's focused um, on corporate alliance communications. Um, so not necessarily like open to public uh, content or communication. Um, so we kind of got around this by message of the days, mailing lists, and how many people will have won Eve because it was so high maintenance, um, having to edit message of the day, having to go in, in game in the client, having to send a mail, and it's, this is all client side stuff. Now, something that's always, always bugged me um, is if you're a new player, how would you even find out about an MPSI channel? Um, aside from like spamming it in Jita and yada, yada, yada. Um, people know about Bombs Bar, respectively, so on and so forth. Um, this is Eve, the video, so on. Um, what of the smaller groups? Um, these guys and girls that basically, they put out content daily, um, but they don't have, um, ba 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 basically, the attendance to these roams comes entirely uh, word of mouth, forums, Reddit, social media, Twitter, Instagram, blah, 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 blah. blah. Um, there's next to no visibility in game. Um, so the lack of a client-side public calendar and a method for you to actually plan your gaming in advance. I know that sounds very, very um, strange comment. Um, I actually have to do that, because um, I do, I'm quite busy in real life, in all fairness. Um, so I actually have to plan my gaming in advance. And to, to, to create those connections, it's forcing people specifically in, in the NPSI field, it forces those endeavors to get, um, have to be planned offline um, on Discord, third party websites, and so on. Um, so it's quite a shame, really. Um, now, hype. Um, I was like super, super excited about the Fleet Discovery tool. Um, I don't know how to say this um, without, um, I'm just going to say it. Um, it didn't hit the mark for MPSI. Um, it didn't hit the mark in terms of how we actually interact with content creators. Um, and the MPSI groups that exist. It didn't allow for advanced planning. Um, there was only live instances of fleets at that particular moment in time. Um, there was no way of seeing future events. It lacked visibility, transparency of content, and there were so many opportunities that I think, from my perspective, um, I just don't see that the fleet discovery tool really scratched the surface of what was actually needed. Um, what was actually truly required um, of the MPSI, MPSI community. I can't say it. Should be able to say it. Um, 
And that's why so many of those in-game activities are still, um, they're still planned offline. Now, it brings me very, very handily, it's almost like I planned it, uh, onto the next slide, which is um, me talking about the uh, funning NPSI calendar and community gateway, drum roll or something. Um, we're officially one year old. Um, I set up the calendar um, after the dissolution of uh, Spectre Fleet's NPSI hub. And I felt that the work that we did, um, and I say we did it, and we did do it, I wanted to continue that push um, for a centralized calendar. Um, I, I, I kind of thought, basically, the community needed it. Um, now, it's in, in, in an accessible format. There's a listing of the fleets available from some of the top NPSI um, groups out there. Um, here's a little advert that I did. There should be sound again. And uh, yeah, so it's what 42 year olds get up to in their spare time. <laughs> this is Eve. <laughs> that was Eve. <laughs> so I launched the public calendar um, with the sole aim to showcase some of the best MPSI PVP content creators out there. People that consistently post fleets, consistently gets content, and are basically totally awesome. Um, the site acts as a springboard for community engagement, uh, cross harmonization of groups. Um, with the sole intent of promoting variety, visibility of content, with main focus to develop relationships within EVE. Um, I wanted it to be centralized so that anybody could see it uh, and have that variety uh, across a variety of time zones and for it to be as inclusive as possible. Now, that's basically pretty much it in terms of the calendar itself can be found on our website uh, at the above link. Uh, if you can't find it sort of straight away, just Google EBWF, uh, MPSI calendar, and you'll find it. And don't forget to bookmark it. Um, the astute of you might have seen those in your swag bags also. Um, the QR code works on those, these ones. <laughs> on that fly, you've got the URL to the corporate website, uh, where, the, where, t where you can find out about the corp and also the MPSI calendar, and you've got access, access to the discords over there. So if you do one thing today, um, hop on Discord. Um, or just use it as a paper airplane. Um, it's up to you. Um, currently, we've got 13 groups, as I said. We're soon to add, and major, just so you know, uh, is might be 14 next week. Might be 15 next week, potentially. Just uh, to keep you up to, up to date. He, he does the hard work. He does the hard work. <laughs> now, the list is growing. Um, and we're going to make it even more user-friendly. We need to talk about this. <laughs> I, I was really, really drunk. <laughs> You can probably hear it, in all fairness. Um, this is basically the calendar. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, so it basically comes with a number of views. Um, each group is color coded uh, by linking, uh, by basically by clicking on the fleets. Um, you can see the details of the fleet, the format, location, doctrines, comms, details, that sort of stuff. Uh, you've also got a list of like an agenda view. Uh, basically, just lists all the fleets that are coming up. This I took the screen dumps quite a while back, um, so it's quite old. Um, and the last view is the master list. Uh, that's basically a month view. Um, look at all those fleets. It's mad. Now, when I set the calendar up, um, I needed it to be simple. Um, basically effective and require next to no maintenance. Um, and I needed it to be user friendly. Um, so we opted to integrate from a Google Calendar. Uh, everybody, everybody knows how to use an Outlook style calendar. Um, and each of the MPSI leads is provided a link to that calendar. Um, so once they populate the fleet with, um, sorry, the calendar with their fleet details, um, it integrates directly through to the website. Uh, second main integration happens in the background from the Google Calendar directly into Discord. Uh, and I'll say this out loud. Uh, well, I won't say it silently. Um, the Discord integration is where the magic actually happens. Um, so, who here is actually on Discord? 
just say, just yell, I can't really see. Yeah, it's as I thought. It's pretty much all of you, probably. Um, now, I'd like to introduce you to Fluffy. Uh, it's our bespoke Discord bot. It was designed in, designed in house by Major, over there. <laughs> and it's named after Dibbles, uh, who's Chapin Corp. He doesn't know that yet, though. Well, he does, I think. He suspects it. Um, <laughs> he does now. <laughs> a couple people will have got that reference. <laughs> now, when a fleet's posted on uh, on the calendar, uh, it announces it onto Discord. And uh, when the fleet is about to form up, Fluffy pings you on Discord and reminds you about the fleet. And once the fleet is over, it archives it from Discord. Um, so at any one time, on um, you'll only see future fleet. And if you need to edit any of the fleets, automatically updates the ping. Um, to remove the previous instance of it and replace it with a new one. So it basically removed 99% of the sort of painful administration so, sort of side. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about the bot itself because I don't actually really know how it works because, as I said, most done the majority of the like techie stuff. So here's a cute kitten. Uh, there you go. Um, now. Going to move on slightly now. Uh, we've so we've spoken about MPSI, um, its origins, its barriers, and I've given you like a really really quick whistle stop tour of the integrations involved in the calendar. Um, but what is the future of MPSI? I, I, I've actually played Eve now for nearly 43% of my life. I do like numbers. Um, and I actually genuinely believe that MPSI is it's in as good a state as it has ever been, if not the best state, I would say. Content is going out daily. Many billions of ISK is being destroyed. Um, daily basis, basically. Just so long as there is a means for content creators to advertise their fleet, um, I believe it's in safe hands. Um, I would love um, for client-side development um, to happen to enhance the MPSI experience. Um, and I believe that NPSI needs that continued exposure um, to get people hooked on PvP. Um, I would love for M the NPSI community leads to work with CCP to channel the knowledge that we have and the skills and experience and the understanding that we have, um, that we've developed, um, and basically help them help us. Um, I think it will be a better, in a better place if the, if the community is engaged with, basically. Now, for Fun Inc., um, we're going to be continue being awesome, basically. Uh, we're going to keep looking for more groups. We're going to look for more content creators um, and support them, um, people's growth, and push the NPSR community moving forward. Um, we're going to develop the ca calendar. I need to speak to you about this, Major. <laughs> lots of we. <laughs> um, we're going to develop the ca calendar, its functionality, and make it even better than it is. Um, so if, if there are any FCs or you know people that post content regularly, that sort of thing, if it's PvP, um, just get in contact with me. Um, all of my details are going to be at the end of the presentation. So how can you help MPSI? Okay, so this is going to be my last sort of few um, sort of content slides. And it's probably as important as any of the slides um, that we've seen previously. Um, it's how you can cont um, contribute, uh, how you can support, how you can assist any of these groups um, continue providing their content. It's pretty simple. Um, that's the key one. That's pretty key as well. You know, you, you guys know this stuff. Log in, X up in a channel, take a support role. Support NPSI con uh, content creators. Um, and probably equally as important is spread the word. Tell people about MPSI. Tell people about fleets. Tell people about good experiences. Tell, tell a friend. Bring a friend. Get active. Get in fleet. Let's keep MPSI as vibrant as we can do so. Help us help you guys get the content that you deserve. So I'm really going to wrap this up now. Um, you're probably super bored of me. Uh, my, my throat's given in too. As that might have got better, actually, I'm not sure. Um, so I'm going to leave you with a few final thoughts. Um, I feel incre incredibly privileged to be part of the EVE Online community. Um, we pull together 
when real life pushes others apart. And I feel privileged to be able to stand here and talk to you. Um, I feel proud of the accomplishments that the NPSR community has, has have made. Um, you know, especially the NPSR community, I should say. I'm proud of our adaptability, our passion, and I'm, pr I'm really, really super proud of the NPSI groups that exist and the content creators that exist, that day in, day out, week in, week out, month in, month out, they log in. They strive to get people that they don't know content. And they put many, many hundreds of hours in behind the scenes. Um, me personally, I've taken so much from this community. Um, moving forward, um, we, can, we can develop things further. Um, we can make Eve more vibrant. Uh, we can make Eve more deadly. And we can make Eve more dangerous and make Eve great again. Just remember, Eve is even better with friends. So here's all my contacts. If anyone wants to reach out or has a good idea, um, knows of a group or runs a group, or if you just want to send me a cat picture or something, um, those are all my details. And that's it. So that's the end of the presentation. Um, I, I'm happy. <laughs> thank you. Um, I'm happy to field any questions you may have. Um, I'll try and answer them um, or just gloss over the answers entirely. Um, my name's Cat T. Fun, Funink is recruiting. So thank you very much. <laughs>